refried beans and cranberry sauce and corn and peas and what am I talking about? Canned foods. Spam. Um, <laughs> spam and uh, canned peaches, canned chili. Um, I don't think this is a thing. <laughs> Is canned foods an intro? Is it the apocalypse? We don't know. Did I say spam? I already said spam. I hope your day's full of lots of fucking spam because the world's ending. Normally I like to have my intros hinged, but this one's a little fucking unhinged because shit's getting real. Um, We got two coronavirus themed episodes back to back. They're fun. They're comedy. Buckle up. We got the content that you need for this pandemic. (laughs) All right, guys, enjoy this week's episode of Shank with Josh Potter. But before we get into that, there's something that I want to tell you about, and that's socks. Why? Because anyone who knows me knows that I love a printed sock. Why? Because there is nothing more fun than feeling like you have a secret underneath your shoe. Like, what kind of secret, Sarah? You know, like maybe a fun print, maybe a fun design. Well, I have a new podcast sponsor called Oh Yeah Socks, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about them, and I'm going to urge you to check out their brand because they are doing so many fun, fun, fun designs, and what better way to prepare for the apocalypse than with a fun sock? Okay, so here's something that I'm going to tell you about them. Um, Hold on. Am I fucking up this? (laughs) Okay, keep going. Um, So OES Socks offers quality socks and slippers and for every occasion, including skate, snow, or casual wear. You can follow them online at OES Socks. You can go to their website, oessocks.com, which is three O's, an H, and then yeah, Y-E-A-H, socks.com. And follow them and you can you can see what they're doing. They're doing some fun prints. They have all kinds of socks for men and women. I'm super excited to have them as a sponsor. Um, I already bought their socks before they started sponsoring the podcast. So it was a natural fit. And you can also follow them on Instagram at oh yeah socks three zeros H yeah Y E A H socks. Follow them online. Um, support them because they support their show. And, you know, what better gift to give than the gift of a fun sock? You know? Maybe you need to buy someone a host gift. And you're like, I don't want to just bring another bottle of wine that they're not going to drink. I don't want to brave the apocalypse grocery store situation. I'm going to go online to oyadsocks.com and buy somebody a pair of socks that will make them smile. All right, guys. Um, (laughs) Another thing that I want to tell you about is Libra. What is Libra? Is that your astrological sign, Sarah? No, it's not my astrological sign. Thank God. No, I'm just kidding. It would actually be a good thing if my astrological sign was a Libra because Libra means balanced and I am certainly not balanced. Um, Anyways, (laughs) Libra Dispensary is this amazing dispensary that's in Palm Desert. They have new locations coming all over soon. You can follow them at Libra Shops on Instagram. And if you're passing through Arizona or if you plan on going to the desert, I truly, truly, truly can't recommend a dispensary more. They have a very amazing selection. It's really well curated. They have some of my favorite edible brands, some of my favorite flower brands, and they truly, truly are excellent at what they're doing. Um, they're, the cannabis experience that they offer is unlike anything I've ever experienced, and I'm super excited to have them as a podcast sponsor. Also, they offer a rewards program called their Click Puff Pass program, and so it, and that's a random shareable perk within their Club Libra, which is their loyalty program. So you can check them out um, on their website at LibraShops.com. And you can also follow them on Instagram at LibraShops. Okay, guys, we have an amazing episode for you this week with Josh Potter. Here it is. I hope you enjoy it. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Shank. I'm Sarah Weinshank, and today's guest is Josh Potter. Hey, Hi. Not infected. You're not infected. Not yet. Not yet. I was like, who can I talk Corona with? Are you guys infected? This seems not pretty that I know of. Locked down in here. 
Here seems really clean, right? Are you going to live in here if it gets bad? Honestly, I'm thinking about it. They're like (laughs) real prepared. There's Purell here. I saw that. That's got to be worth like $4,000. Every time I walk by it, I just do a little squirt. Is that wasteful? No. No. They say no. They say no. It's their Purell, right? Yeah. I mean, basically, it's their Purell, but it's it's a loner Purell. You could go out on on the street with that right now and get like hundreds of dollars. But it's like, okay, like we judge people who hoard, right? Like that's like a thing as a society. I've noticed that. (laughs) You're like, you're like, I can't with these people that hoard. But they're right. (laughs) You know what I mean? (laughs) Like I'm like thinking back about all this shit. I bet I threw away real full bottles of Purell in the past. That's true. Of like, oh, I don't need this. Oh, I thought about, I just thought about a time I bought Purell and just threw it out. Right? That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Like, now, I if think you saw someone throw out a bottle of Purell... I mean, people would jump on it like it was a $100 bill, though. Right, it's like Black Friday every day now. I did see a thing on Twitter. People are shaming those who are hoarding because they're not thinking of the greater good. Yeah, but it's also like, if I had the means to hoard... <laughs> Right? <laughs> yeah, I'd have like Perrier for What's days. Your, uh, <laughs> lobster tails. <laughs> yeah, lobster tails and truffle and mac and cheese. I would cheese. be such a bad hoarder. <laughs> I'd get all this perishable goods. <laughs> like, <laughs> what kind of, what do you think you would put in your kit? Like, let's brainstorm survival kits well, that I've we're never going to make. <laughs> and here's the thing. I don't want to live in that kind of environment. Like, if that goes down, which it's kind of getting close, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be alive for it. You know? I don't wanna, so if, you want to. The second I can't buy weed anymore. You're going to a real martyr now. You're going to die martyr, for but corona. <laughs> the second I can't buy weed anymore, I don't want to. What's the point of getting around, you know? I know. We're going to eat canned rhubarb and shit. Like, canned rhubarb? Yeah, like what are we going to – that's like what kind of quality of life is that? Let the rhubarb disease Rhubarb is me. so bad not canned. <laughs> and then the thought of it canned. Creamed. Creamed rhubarb? Creamed canned rhubarb. Is that a thing? I don't know, but I, I bet it is. <laughs> it's about to be. They're going to make it for the coronavirus. Are you going to start canning your own rhubarb? I just uh, – yeah, I don't – any zombie apocalypse scenario people give me, it's like let the zombies eat me. You know? Really? Yeah. So you're fine going out? Yeah. Like, and if my shows get canceled, I'm going to die anyway. So it's like, give me the corona or cancel my shows. Either way, I'm dead. <laughs> like, I'm not in a place of, like, contentment with it. Like, maybe if I was, like, happy in, like, a relationship and I could, like, nestle up and, like, yeah. watch a lot of, like, cartoons and, like, order pizza You'd enjoy and the fuck. quarantine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then I would enjoy the quarantine. Hell yeah. That sounds... You just painted a real nice quarantine picture. <laughs> you know what I mean? But as, like, someone who's um, on some apps right now, I'm not going to link up with someone at a time like this. <laughs> what if they're... You can't <laughs> link up with somebody new during... T- the apocalypse there's a new app (laughs) and it's for the corn like people are showing off they're like i've got guns i've got food (laughs) and then you swipe you're like this guy doesn't have enough toilet paper swipe left you know (laughs) you're like i don't care how tall this fucker is he's got so much purell (laughs) would you pimp yourself out for a proper bunker yeah yeah (laughs) yeah absolutely so you're down you're just like a proper bunker? Like, yeah. show me your supplies, show bitch. Show me that bunker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck nudes. Send yeah. me photos of your bunker. Um. Yes. That's like, crazy. Masks? Yeah. Turn on. Masks are a turn on. Ha- full on hazmat suit? Turn on. I'm wet. Oh, my God. About it. <laughs> a hazmat suit, dude? Uh, I mean, like, are people going to start wearing hazmat suits? In Italy, they are. <laughs> can we Google and find out how much a hazmat suit is and if we can get one, Anthony? Thank you. I also <laughs> would like to know if a costume hazmat suit is as effective as a regular hazmat no, suit. No, there's is no there, way. What are the elements of an actual hazmat suit, though? I have no idea. It just seals you? <laughs> it just seals you. And the costume one is boot. It's just bootleg. It's not real. I just f- don't like the way I feel like the rest of this week's going to go. And I just imagine myself like with a tripod and my uh, camera on selfie <laughs> mode. And I'm setting a timer in like a mask 
I'm going to be oh, out of stock, out of stock. <laughs> no, the hazmat suits are out of stock. All of them are out of stock. Is that 144 one in stock? Yes. $144. Okay, what is that? Is that more or less expensive than the rest? I can't tell. I can't, I can't see. Yeah, I can't see either. Hold on. It's is that it's about the same, but what's wrong with that one? Yeah, why is that one still available? It says it's a twenty five pack. Of hazmat suits? Oh wow. Oh shit. Well I bet I'm you know, about to. You're gonna you gonna throw have, it out? Here's the thing. You think that makes a big difference? I have no idea. I'm going out to. I'm. Re- <laughs> that, I see you going to Trader Joe's. Going like to get that. my makeup done in one of those. <laughs> no, I'm going to shopping. Catch me at Whole Foods. At that point, you don't need to go shopping. Suit. You got 25 hazmat suits. You just wear them every 60, day. Oh, it says 60 hooded coverall booties. Oh, those are just the booties. That's yeah. why they're still available. Oh fuck. Wait. I'm sorry, $145 for 60 booties? I think it comes with booties. Oh. People aren't concerned about their feet, I guess. Nah. I mean, shit. If there were only, if you could get it through <laughs> your feet by, by itself, then I would understand. But why would you just buy the booties? I just think that, like, in general, if you're buying a hazmat suit, just end it. Yeah, you changed your mind now. I you... changed my mind. I was like, "Do I need one?" I but that's how I've been about the whole thing. Yeah, I fluctuate just... between like being totally freaked out and like it's time to start hoarding goods, and totally freaked out and paralyzed in fear and in denial. I'm curious when this will come out because we're gonna sound insane if it comes <laughs> out in like a week and like everything because it's literally happening today like it's they canceled ha- it's all the sports today but like this is gonna be a piece of history it could be like you know like this we have this of podcast from 2020 when the plague hit this is true and this is gonna be this is gonna be like art this is they've canceled <laughs> so, I don't... what i'm saying is you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> yes this is my this will be like unearthed someday yeah yeah um i'm sure you don't care but they've canceled all the sports, and it's like, why even bother going on anymore? Let the coronavirus eat me alive. Do you like the NBA? I le- the NBA's canceled. The NHL's canceled. They canceled March Madness. They canceled the XFL. It's all canceled. Coachella. What am I going to do? Coachella's canceled. Stagecoach. Stagecoach. That's, that's probably where it came from. <laughs> Stagecoach. <laughs> yeah. A bunch of cowboys just running around. Yeah. They don't have one of those... Uh, k-pop uh tours yet festival so i would blame that though that would be suspect yes, number one suspect number one did they sure. cancel the netflix comedy uh thing oh any awareness on that let's find out Can- we'll take a look i'm just like they're canceling everything yeah it's really scary my 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 uh show at the comedy store march 29th is canceled it is yeah why because that was in the main room Belly room. They can't. It's only the OR is operating now. They canceled the belly room show. They can't have more than five hundred people in the building, I guess, or something like that, or some. No. So they've canceled all the uh, belly room and main room shows for the rest of March. Gosh! <laughs> did I just deliver? Yeah. You, did you? you I didn't even say anything. I just stared at you. You just stared. You were like. I don't know how to feel. I feel terrible. I but mean, like, but what it, what does it feel like as a comedian to feel like <laughs> you can't perform? Uh, I don't like that feeling. It. I went and did an open mic because I thought they were like. I felt like they were keeping us in our houses yesterday. So yes, I just like. I literally I mean. just went to do an open mic just to be like, I can still do what I want. Yeah, that's what, how I feel too. I'm like, do I want to do my spot tonight? It's weird. Well, yes, you do, I think. I'm feeling a little defiant. If I were you, I would want to do it. Because, I don't know, it's just, there's something about, like, I didn't realize the government could just be like, we, you can't gather more than 250 at once. Like, they can just do that whenever they want. That's kind of crazy. I don't, yeah, they can just strip you of your freedom. Yeah, that's what <laughs> and I your, mean. Yeah, and you know that it's bad when this shit ha- Okay, hold on. Have you seen Cardi B on Instagram? I just saw her going like, Corona! <laughs> yeah. That's all I saw. I, d- I didn't know if that was pro or anti. Okay, can we get a Cardi B video up? Because I think Cardi B is the official face of the coronavirus. <laughs> I mean, she's expressing how I feel at all times. 
how what did she say Give we're me gonna a, we're gonna pull we're gonna it up pull we're gonna pull up. up but here's the All thing right. with cardi is her nails are so fucking long yeah but i'm like you know how many germs are probably lodged underneath those talons yeah that's how people like become immune to things is they bite their nails Look right at her. that's what they say yeah yeah i saw part of this okay look at those nails jesus yeah <laughs> so this is the first video of her celebrating corona are we oh here we go please hold we're we're pulling it up dude also the meanwhile it's just a full storm outside yeah it's pouring outside that doesn't help the mood (laughs) right it's supposed to pour for the next like 10 days really angeles yes well maybe that'll help that's what that's what i'm thinking like clean the air yeah like wash the, wash away the germs yes all right let's try this cardi video is what it not this coronavirus is about i don't understand how that shit was from wuhan china now all of a sudden this shit is a motherfucking tour and let me tell you something i ain't gonna front a bitch is scared i'm a little scared you know what i'm saying like <laughs> shit, shit got me panicking and a lot of you motherfuckers think it's a joke kiki, 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 like i was thinking right but that shit right there just because you think you're immune to it guess what your pocket ain't bitch because a lot of shit comes from motherfucking china bitch so if you wonder where your motherfucking weave or your fashion over motherfucking packages have arrived guess what bitch <laughs> coronavirus coronavirus <laughs> i'm telling you shit is real shit is getting real Woo! full ass i did have a couple of packages God not arrived really about- yes from what did you order? I uh, ordered a uh, basket. Bob plug? Something from, yeah. <laughs> I wish it was. <laughs> I, w- I wish it was something as cool as that, though. Uh, no, I ordered like a shirt for a basketball shirt. And like, uh, I ordered one of Nikki Glazer's shirts, actually, from her tour. You did? It hasn't come yet. I'm wondering, Nikki, where'd you. Uh, you ordered some shirt? merch? Yeah, I ordered Nikki's shirt. I told her I was going to buy one. So I got that. And it hasn't come yet. So I don't know where your shit's made, Nikki. <laughs> is your Nikki made it? Is it made, is it in, made in China? China? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Yeah. I mean, people have said that going to the grocery store is intense. I bet. I haven't gone. I should go. I need to go. I have no groceries. You don't have anything? No. I, I wonder, what does Postmates uh, going to cease operations? If that happens, I starve to death. What do you currently have in your fridge, Josh? Paint a picture. <clears throat> What's the apocalypse looking like for you? I really don't have much. I have uh, a couple of eggs. I have some cheese. What kind? Like shredded, uh, like Mexican cheese. Okay, that's good. The Mexican wrap or whatever. And uh, I have some ketchup and hot sauce. <laughs> no, condiments? Yeah. You got condiments? And I think that's it. I really don't know. Oh, my God. Um... What else do I have? I have spaghetti. You have spaghetti? Yes. Or like noodles. I don't have spaghetti. I have just like a thing of noodles, a box. So you're really living like a bachelor. Yeah, it's bad. For the it's apocalypse. really bad. We got to get you some like some, some nutrients in the I get house. like Postmates almost every day. So if Postmates doesn't operate because of the coronavirus, I'm done. No. <laughs> you got to build. What's in your fridge? <sighs> All kinds of shit. Yeah. Yeah. You're prepared? I mean, I got LaCroix. Okay. That's good. <laughs> I got LaCroix. You'll stay I got hydrated. Some, I got some non organic celery I'm not stoked on. I okay. accidentally bought that. And now I'm like convinced that I'm all freaked out about buying organic, but really the world's fucking ending. So does it even matter? That's, you know what I mean? Like, last I sound long. like so stupid. I'm like, I don't have organic celery and it's the apocalypse. You got to go to canned celery now. <laughs> canned celery? Canned everything. Canned everything. See, there's something about canned food Mm -hmm. that... It's not your aesthetic. It's not my vibe, right? (laughs) What's your biggest canned nightmare? Oh, there's something I really dislike about canned peaches. (laughs) Because I think I got, like, sick as a kid off of, like, canned peaches one time. Where I got, like, I don't know. But there's something about, like, a canned fruit that's, like, in, like, a... Like a syrup, yes, syrup, syrup, whatever you call it. You what know, if like, you have to drink that to live? I'm drinking in it. the day. You will. You you want to live that bad? I don't know how badly I want to live. <laughs> I think maybe if I like had somebody like a a quarantine and chill buddy. 
yeah no of you course. know what the, i mean the, like it's really like a reflection of how lonely i am that's exactly the true. apocalypse <laughs> and that's kind of why i'm just in denial about all of it because that's... i'm like i'm like wait i normally have comedy to distract me from yes. being lonely but now i'm just like mind-numbingly alone and i'm just like <laughs> the You've world the nail ending. On the head with that. your scenario <laughs> earlier sounded blissful i was like yeah cancel all the shows forever yeah <laughs> yeah but no i mean i've definitely thought about that too i'm like what if what happens if it's just like full-on melee i'm like literally alone the the closest any of my family is is three thousand miles away so it's like man what if shit really hits the fan you know yeah because it's like this is what it seems like and like who knows by the time this comes out like what if we, we could sound insane or yeah. we could sound like we're a part of history or we could sound like we weren't insane enough like right. we were just like, what's gonna happen? Like, yeah, I'm like, the sports, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sports got canceled. The sports got no comedy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like people are dying in the streets. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Italy looks pretty brutal right now. If uh, I don't know what's fake and what's real or whatever, but there's like all I read kinds okay, of insane shit. I read this article mm -hmm. that these that this American wrote about how she is in lockdown in Italy and it was terrifying yes. and I was like okay I'm gonna go to the store and I never went to the store <laughs> I think I'm afraid to just be around I feel like all of the world has just is becoming like this weird like black friday sale now yeah like everyone's That's just hilarious. like trying to gouge each other's eyes out except over for, <laughs> toiletries yeah, except it's not tvs it's like the last apple yeah like q-tips what do you even buy that's what i'm saying okay so i was like trying to put together a list this is what i hear you're supposed to buy um like fl cold and flu stuff in okay because if you do get sick you don't want to have to go to the store to get that stuff and that stuff might be gone so like okay. dayquil nyquil Ooh, tylenol okay. are you gonna are you gonna pull out some motrin or something <laughs> Oh, it's an Advil, Advil PM. PM. You're going to sleep your way through it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, fuck yeah. Halfway home. Yeah, I heard that type of stuff, like okay. cough drops and like any to cold flu stuff, Tylenol, stuff like that. Okay. Um. Then I guess canned food. People are saying you need up to two weeks worth of food. Do you, do you agree with this, Anthony? Do you have any facts on that? I have no facts. No one. Uh, but we're, I'm always pretty stockpiled anyway. Wow. Uh, With of what? Of course he is. He's like responsible. Oh, you know what I He's do have? Like I have very three cans of tuna. Guy. Okay. Two weeks. I can make this last. The <laughs> things that I've named. With three cans of tuna, ketchup. Eggs, cheese. Eggs, cheese. I can do that. Two weeks? I think I can make it. No. I used to play a game with myself when I was like supremely poor. How long I could make $20 last in groceries. And I would make it two weeks with twenty dollars of groceries that's crazy so y you know how to endure is what you're saying yeah, yeah. <laughs> this I, is what i mean gathering now while doing that while infected with a deadly virus i don't know if i can do that but you know i don't think you want to know it's crazy back in the beginning of february i was like so sick that i felt i was questioning my mortality you know i was yeah. like i'm gonna die I think I had the coronavirus. That's now. how I feel. I was so sick around Christmas. Yeah. And I was like, dude, this is the most sick I've ever been. I really felt that. Yeah. And I was like, if this doesn't kill me, I don't know what will. Right. And now I'm still here. So I'm like, maybe I already had it. I think we already had it. I like that. <laughs> Changing your perspective, perspective into convincing yourself you've already had the disease. I've already had it. Yeah. And it's not going to kill me. Yeah. The, the great thing is it's only killing old people. Well, but, like, is Tom <laughs> Hanks considered old? Yeah. That's... Uh, I'm upset about that <laughs> because it's, like, he's, like, the father he's... of everybody. It feels like he's, like, our dad. No, sure. It's a real blow that he got sick <laughs> right. with it. But it's, like, he, I think he's still young enough where he can fight it off and he's rich enough. You know what I mean? He's not just, like, some 80-year-old woman who's never left her apartment in Queens. You know what I mean? So yeah. Tom Hanks and yeah. Rita. And Rita. Now has Chad been infected? That's no, what I want to know. No, Chet. Chet, my bad. Yeah. I saw Chet 
And yeah. I was like, I can't believe Chet is the son of Tom <laughs> <laughs> and Rita. Chet seems like someone you might have dated like a few years ago. Yes, Chet seems like a mistake I would have made. Chet has a music career. Chet is the. Can we pull up Chet? <laughs> Let's pull up Chet. Let's see. You guys need. And to Chet have does a not have coronavirus. Chet's clean, <laughs> but he did make a video on Twitter. Well, Chet doesn't have coronavirus. I don't know if he's clean. Yeah, he's definitely not clean. Yeah. <laughs> Let me take that back. <laughs> Um, I want to say he has a quote-unquote music career. Ah. Uh, no. And he's often shirtless um, and, like, has full tattoos. Um, is is that a picture of him holding guns in that first photo? Let's pull up Chet. So, <laughs> for those of you who can't physically see what Chet looks like. That's hilarious. How would you explain what we're looking at right now? Me? Yeah. I mean, I think we did a... I think just saying his name is Chet... <laughs> he wants to be a rapper. He's Tom Hanks' son, so put those three elements in a mixing bowl. And then yeah. uh, have a guy who speaks patois or whatever that is with uh, <laughs> the Jamaican the... accent, you know? Is that what he speaks? He, he does a lot. He That's the most recent video I've seen of him was him speaking that language, whatever that is, or that accent or whatever. Is that a language or an accent? I feel bad. I keep looking. We always look to the guy in the booth like he knows at, like everything. And but he always delivers it like he shit. does. He's like, he's like, yes, it's Padua. <laughs> like, and I'll be like, what? How did you know that? And I'm like, I don't know. I just did. But yeah, Chet's a real, I mean, come on. You would have Chet's definitely dated him in I've definitely blown the equivalent of a Chet you, many uh, times, unfortunately. <laughs> I've definitely blown a Chet in, in my time. <laughs> Unfortunately, where at? Like, how does it college? Chat? Oh, okay, that makes college sense. was full of chats. I was gonna like, say, tell where me is... more about your music career. Yeah, where does a chat <laughs> come come about? Usually, a chat normally pops out at like a fraternity party. Okay, can't you see him? Yes, and you're like, uh, we just hang out with him because he's Tom Hanks' son. <laughs> yeah, he sells blow. <laughs> yeah, he always sells blow and um. <clears throat> And he's Tom Hanks' son. And he's Tom Hanks' son. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like Rita and Tom are so fucking likable that yeah. of course they had a chit. Well, they had Colin too. <laughs> yeah. Remember Colin? No. He was in Orange County. Let's see Colin. He was an are Mad they Men. brothers? He's an actually pretty accomplished actor. Oh, Colin and Chet. Colin Hanks. Remember, uh, you don't remember Orange County with Jack Black? I do, but I don't even remember. Oh, wow. He looks just like his dad. Yeah, he was in Mad Men. He played a priest. How many kids did the Hankses have? I want to say it's just Chad and Col Chet and Colin. <laughs> they really fucked Chet over with his name. He was like a, yeah. a real preconceived yeah. uh, sort of Bummer. thing. Bummer. Yeah. yeah, I think Colin should have been named Chet. It would have made it more fair. Have you ever met a Chet that's like not a piece of shit? No, I've never, <laughs> I've never met a Chet. Oh, I've met three. Well, I've you met, know three I've Chets? met two, and I've heard of this one. No, so they're all they all suck. This one probably is the nicest one out of the three that I know of. I don't know a single Chet. I can't imagine looking at a baby and being like, "And we shall call him Chet." <laughs> yeah, like where does that come from? <laughs> What's your baby's name? Chet. Is it short for something like? Nope, I was gonna say cheddar. Uh, yeah, ch Chet no, ski. Chet. It's not Chet. short for anything, eh? Chet. It just seems like terrible, like, unfinished. It seems wrong to name your child that. What's right? that say? Chet. Chet is a masculine given name, often a nickname for Chester. Chester. That's I knew it was short for something. But do you think also <laughs> terrible to name your child that? Chester Molester, everyone knows. Chester it. Like, Molester. And Chet. Exactly. Can Chet come over? No. No. I don't like him based on his name alone. <laughs> right? Now, what would it take for you to tolerate a Chet? Well, I would like to see his emergency supply kit. <laughs> Chet, sh show me your bunker, Chet. If Chet's got a banging bunker. <laughs> then that changes then everything. That name doesn't mean shit. Yeah, if Chet has come the up supplies, to my bunker, Sarah. Let's see, starts talking that yeah, way. Yeah, fuck yeah. He's like, I got bottle <laughs> service, and it's just Purell. 
bottle service <laughs> yeah, with Purell. Yeah. That's something. <laughs> right? I'm you like, can to... I get a shot? <laughs> <laughs> We're all slathering <laughs> up. <laughs> Purell, it's like going to be the new lube. It's going to be everything. Oh, my God. I mean, like, can you imagine fucking a stranger in this time? I'm going to try. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Everyone's vulnerable, and it's the perfect opportunity. Yeah, I mean, I wonder if people are going to be like... I mean, this is all so new, so we haven't seen how many people are reacting, but I'm, I'm curious, like, taking public transportation and stuff, if everyone's going to be, like, just the same old, same old or not, you know? Well, would you want to get on the subway in New York? Not in New York. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Doesn't that sound... I saw a thing today. I the chills. Think about it. They said they're going to clean it twice a day. And oh, people like are like, gonna... why didn't you do that before? <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, but, like, I just feel... Like, the subway at rush hour mm -hmm. in New York, not with the coronavirus, oh, foul. Yeah. It's pretty gross. Then you factor in... The corona. <laughs> the corona. <laughs> also, like, going into 2020, which was not that long ago. Like, yeah. We're not that deep into 2020. It's been a real year, though. It's been <laughs> so <laughs> fucked up. It's like, I, I wish I could just, like, put my head back into 2019 mm -hmm. And, and wake stay up. there? Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. Like a blanket? Yeah. Like under the covers? Because it's like, this is going to affect everything. For now, I mean, it's... I mean, like, this whole episode's corona. The whole yeah. last episode was probably <laughs> It's really corona. affected this episode particularly. I'm very upset. <laughs> I'm very upset. I, yeah, I just don't, I mean, I don't know how they're going to, like, stop it. Because they're like, well, people aren't allowed to gather. But in New York, isn't everyone just gathered even here, <laughs> yeah. people are just around. I mean, especially in New York, because they live in these like filing cabinets of humans, and people are just milling about like it's a hive. Like you're always ten feet from somebody in New York, even when you're in your apartment, right? Yeah. Technically, I mean, above you, but side of you, beneath you. I don't know how are they going to prevent that from being a thing. I don't know. I just feel like I'm going to be locked in my room, like writing poetry. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to be the new Emily Dickinson. I'm like, <laughs> I'm waiting for my roommate my to come home with it. And I'm going to be like, see, I knew I hated you. you know? Yeah. You have someone <laughs> to be mad at. Yeah, exactly. It's like, what do you, it's also like, what do you do with your time? If you're not doing stand up, I guess you're like just writing. Oh my God. Can I take this phone call? Yeah, I'm take, so sorry. Take your phone call. See what you got to do. Oh. Well, uh, it's I'm gonna pee. I'll pee. We'll do a pause. Somebody is using your phone or something. No, ma'am. Uh, do you think like off. you name your kid Chet and then the kid comes out shitty, or do you think it was already? <laughs> That's what shitty? I don't know. I think it's a bad idea to put that in the kid. You know what I mean? To call it that. He has to hear himself be called Chet. <laughs> for years so of course he's gonna be shitty at some point it's like chet here yeah it's like a uh what's that a self-fulfilling prophecy you know when you name it chet you're just setting him up for failure you're giving him something that he has to rise up against you know what other names of people do you not vibe with hmm i'm trying to think of like a girl version of chet you know i mean you have like i your... know maggie Real Maggie, bitch. that's a, <laughs> see you always you, for a woman you always put it on like a personal. Uh, oh yeah. Sort of like experience with that name, but there isn't some like mass name, you know. No, but like, do you have any like people that ruined certain names for you? Oh, for sure. I'm trying to think of a good one here. Um, what is bitch named Maggie? Well, like Kate is a terrible name for me. I think I don't know. Kate? I don't like it. Yeah. I just you had got like fucked a fucked over by some Kate. I did, yeah. I didn't like a, my experience with, with a, a particular Kate. <laughs> Kate. But there's so many of them. I feel like I could be swayed back to like they're good again. You know what I mean? Because there's just Kates running out. Exactly. They're all over the place. Kate could be redeemable, but I don't think for me Maggie would be redeemable. Really? What did Maggie do? Maggie to you? was <laughs> such a bitch. Okay, so she was like one of those kids who like she was like evil as a child because mm -hmm. she was like a product of divorce and it like really affected her and she didn't get appropriate <laughs> okay. therapy you know the type yeah of course <laughs> and so she like hated everybody and like would have like these parties she would never invite me to them and then she would say <laughs> really mean things to me like when we were alone like what she, she said like when we were playing like kickball and she was on third base and i was stuck on third base she was like you're fucking fat like oh all this God. like really mean shit 
And then when she thought she was so hot and she would like, she tried to slut up her uh, school uniform sweatpants and she Ooh. accidentally cut out the butt cheeks of her, <laughs> her sweatpants. So then she got in trouble because she was walking around with assless sweats That's in wild. like middle school. She was just like bad. You know, those kids, she was like, she would like have like emotional outbursts and she would just be mean to other, other kids because yeah. her like upbringing at home was fucked. And, like, it, like, uh, spilled over into everyone else's lives, including wild. mine. So, like, I would never name my kid Maggie. Maggie sounds like the name that of a girl who would get bullied by the woman you just described. Right. Do you know what I mean? Because it's always, like, Maggie. Like, I don't know. Like, I, just, I have Maggie and I have allergies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you don't think of, like, Maggie as being, like, a bitch. Right, right. You this Maggie? Bitch. That's like an Ashley. That you Ooh. Okay, so... The thing that's crazy is in middle school, Maggie and Ashley were friends. Oh my god! You know the type. Ashley, How'd she spell it. Ashley. Yeah. With a Y. Like a S H L E Y. Yeah. Standard. Yeah. Not one of these fucking loons. That oh, it with like a nine G? different ways. <laughs> There's like seven different Ashleys, like an L E I I or some shit. It's like no great fucking creator. Yeah. It's at, it's still the same fucking name when you say it out loud, it's you know. Like Steven with a P. I don't care if you throw an <laughs> H inside of it and then another H at the end of it or whatever. Yeah, I like don't if you're gonna go Ashley, just spell it classic. Yeah. Don't exactly. get creative. Don't fucking don't spell Debbie with like D E B I. I know an That's Ashley lazy spelled A S H L E I G H. That's upsetting. <laughs> right it's too much it's too much it's like your parents are trying to prove something yeah if you're respelling classic names in different ways it's no silly. it's like spelling mark m-a-h-r-k-e i don't know that was, i really put myself in a box <laughs> <with> mark, but. <laughs> no but you're right though yeah it's silly i can't think of any names that really have done me wrong I mean, the Chet's the Chet thing is real with me. The Chet I had thing a boss resonates. named Chet, and you I didn't... had there was a comic I knew named Chet from back home who lives here now, and he sucks. So, Chet. I mean, uh, the boss was terrible though. He like promised me a raise at one point, and then was like, "I lied." That's such a Chet move. Yeah, total Chet move. Chet's. I mean, I also just feel like, are you gonna be? Would you wear a mask? Like a face mask thing? Yeah. Well, I was always under the impression that wearing that was to prevent Spread. other people from getting sick, not you getting sick. Well, if you were sick. If I was sick, I wear a mask? Are you courteous enough no, no, I'm <laughs> to not. wear a mask? I'm not at all. Let's be honest. Not one bit. I, in fact, uh, <laughs> when Tom was taping his special, Tom Segura was taping his special, I was opening for him in the dates leading up to it and for the special, and I was like... I had just left my friend's apartment in New York. He had a cat. So I think I had like the sniffles from allergies mm -hmm. or something. And um, Tom was like, are you getting sick? I can't believe you're fucking sick near me right now. And he made me wear a mask on the tour bus. No. Yes. You wore a mask? So I wore a mask on the tour bus for that like four days. <laughs> no, you didn't. Whatever. I swear to God. The whole time. I mean, when I was around him, the rest of the time I was just isolated from him. No. <laughs> yeah. Because he's like... I'm I, not getting sick. I can't get sick. I get it. I get it. I mean, it was a big deal. So because if you have kids and you yeah. get sick, that's fucked up. Really. Me either. I don't have anyone. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Me I'm neither. just here. I just have my own neurotic thoughts. But if I'm you had like... kids, you'd be super sick. Because kids bring home fucking germs all the time. Have they canceled school? I mean, I can't imagine. Cancel it all. Can't cancel everything. You <laughs> cancel want it to be everything. done. I'm just like, let's be done. And like, also, like, can we all get on the fucking same page about everything? Let's cancel everything or nothing. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, like, cancel it all, and because it doesn't make sense at a certain point when you have this canceled, but this is still happening. You're like, what the fuck? Like I gotta show up for something. Yeah. And that's what's silly. the vibe gonna be? And have you gone on stage since the Corona outbreak? I went last night on stage. And. Everyone was talking about it, which was lame, but... It's hard not to. You, it's hard not to, yeah, exactly. I'm so transfixed by it. Is even transfixed a word? Transfixed? I mean, it's... Yes, it is. He's, we've got the Did thumbs I up. Did I use the word correctly? Double thumbs up. Double thumbs up! You used it correctly. Damn. No, I mean, it's... Um, I'm, I was taking the approach where... I don't think I'll get it, and I think if the coronavirus came into me, it would, it would be like, oh, I fucked up, you know? 
<laughs> like, like it would like see you what else it, like, is in shame? here. No, it would like come into my body and it would be like, not interested. Well, this is not the guy I should have fucked with. This is not the host for me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's like, what the you other think? things would The other things that are going on in there would just fight it and beat it up. See, like, I feel like the coronavirus would make itself at home in me. Yeah. <laughs> You're <laughs> a real like, perfect spot for like, it. Like, I'm fucking feeling cozy in this shank. Fuck the cure. We're going to live in shank forever. Uh, yeah. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I did see a thing. Someone in this is all just tweets I've scrolled past. Uh, but in Knoxville, Tennessee, someone claims with a little bit more testing, they might have a cure already. In Tennessee, <laughs> just, uh, I don't think the person in Tennessee found the cure. That sounds the most obscene, obscene thing I've ever heard. It's like <laughs> it's like someone in Bakersfield has That's found so the cure funny. for. <laughs> Forget the fucking medical school they have there or whatever. It, you're like your face when I said where it was. You were. Not I just impressed. became such a judgmental valley bitch. I was like, excuse me, not interested in the Tennessee cure. Like, like, like I think that's a cure that could you know. Put Potentially solve the pandemic that's <laughs> happening. Ew, from Tennessee, not interested. It's probably not even organic. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, your face, you're like from Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to Tennessee. I know they just had like a hurricane or tornado. A tornado in Nashville, yeah. Uh, have you been to Tennessee? <laughs> I have once or twice. Did you love it? I'm supposed to go back if the shows don't get canceled. Uh, <laughs> no, it's great. I think it's fine. I mean, I understand your, <laughs> your skepticism. <laughs> such a visceral reaction your face was perfect when you were like but tennessee though but <laughs> like I'm you just were like not picturing hopeful. like cowboys i don't even know if that's what's there or how ignorant i'm sounding right country now country music is that is the home of i'm country just music, imagining so. like people running around with like oh a God. vaccine and western boots uh, <laughs> like, i haven't come laughed on that hard in a long time seeing your face when i told you where it was made <laughs> i know like you said like compton my reaction uh, was comparable to that was so funny. a Compton response. I'm also like, okay, are you going to make an emergency kit? Am I freaking out about this? Because this is not the second podcast that I've dedicated. I can't believe you don't have one yet. An emergency kit? I'm going after this. The, and I'm late. What are you going to put in it? I don't fucking What's an know. Emergency I'm afraid, kit? Can I tell you what I'm afraid of? Yeah. This is what I'm afraid okay, of. Tell me. I'm so afraid of not having the right things, but I'm also afraid of going <laughs> and and like not being able to control myself and spending right. like a thousand dollars that I don't have. <laughs> You're like on, getting like, your Gucci emergency. Yeah, trip. <laughs> and like have all this like shit like liquid vitamin C. I want to get some of that. I heard that that's the thing to get. But okay. I also I don't want to buy into the hype, but I also am ill prepared. Yeah, I'm gonna hope for the best. And ride this out and hope that it just all <laughs> gets cleared up. And uh, if it doesn't and my shows get canceled, I'll want to die then anyway. So I'll be happy I didn't get an emergency well, kit. Do you know in Vegas there are signs that say coronavirus free lap dances here? Yes, I did see that. Did you see Who that? shared that? Chelsea or somebody? Um, I, thought. I think Wolf. Or Rachel. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. Just like the thought of getting a lap dance during this time. That would be – you think that would be bad? It's like, I feel like there's going to be an increase in lap dances. I feel like I people are making money. Well, I saw this too. Pornhub is allowing their premium service for free in Italy with all the quarantine happening. No. Because people are going to be stuck alone for <laughs> no, quite some time. No, that's fucking genius. So they need to, I mean, extend that more. Keep people at home. You know, the lap dances aren't going to keep people at home. But again, it's, we're worried about crowds. So I think, I think if you get a private dance, you know, you think escorts and prostitutes are probably going to be thriving in this. I don't know if market? they will be, but porn, I think porn will be for sure. Like viewing of it. I saw, I was just in Vegas. So now I saw I'm switching careers. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. You're gonna switch. I'm careers. getting into porn for the. I mean, for, for the next couple of days, if you want to not Sorry, leave your Mom house, Dad. you can only fans it for a couple of days. I'm sure you know. I went on OnlyFans and I was like, "This is weird." Yeah. Yeah. What did, what did you look at? Um, like some. It's just like gross. It was gross to me. Yeah. The things Who, that I saw. People were gross. Uh, the things that I saw were gross. You're on the wrong pages. Of OnlyFans. Yeah. There's... Is it like cam? It could be anything you want it to be. Who, it depends I don't who you're understand for. how this whole world works. Walk so, me through it. If you wanted to do an OnlyFans, 
You would set it up, and then you could have a monthly fee. I'm not going to make porn behind a paywall, Josh. You would do it for free? <laughs> no, I'm not making porn. Oh, okay. This is just if enough of my shows get canceled. Well, like I said, if they do, you could get the OnlyFans going. Some people don't even post porn <laughs> for their monthly subscribers. They post, like, vlogs or they'll type things or they'll post, like, a, you know, <laughs> A hot I'm selfie just here and there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they'll me? type notes just or whatever. Just typing, documenting the coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> and then what you can do is you can do premium content within that, where then it's porn if you wanted to. I mean, listen, or I have an offer right now for neck pics. Neck pics? Someone is requesting I send neck pics. Is it the back, the sides? They what is said it? They would give me money for neck pics, and I was like, listen. Why'd you say no? I haven't responded yet. Why not? <laughs> because I was like, I don't need. Let the, me broker I don't, don't want to do that. And then now I'm like, times are hard. Yeah, I might be willing to, sell, to put my neck, neck on the line. Your neck is like being shown right now. And also, like, I feel like I have a nice neck. Like, yeah. I'm confident about it. I was like, <laughs> do you think he scouted this neck and was yeah, like, damn, sure. your neck is He's off like, the chain, girl? Because <laughs> if that's the case. Then, like, fuck yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's seeing it right now or, like, on a thing like this. Check it out. Or when you take, like, a picture. Check out those clavicles. <laughs> <laughs> so why not send him a pic of his choice of your neck for, I don't know how much, how it's much is he charging? jacking off to it. So? You don't think that happens already to your pictures? You don't, do you? No, I'm so naive. I'm like clapping, <laughs> staring into space like you're coronavirus. Like, I never thought of that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. That's happening. I mean, how many followers do you have on but Twitter? But I'm saying, or on, I can't uh, be selling neck pics and then it gets leaked out. There's Sarah Weinstein selling neck pics. No one would care. It's just a neck. If they were like Sarah Weinstein selling neck pics, yeah. You feet, think feet are worse? Thing. I think feet are the same thing. You think feet are. Something about feet sounds worse to me than neck. Well, I mean, because <laughs> it's less, less people have neck fetishes. Fetishes. So you think it's bad? You think it's worse to do your feet than neck? I'm more proud of my neck. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, I understand that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, maybe but, like, that's your what feet, it's about. Like you wear sandals, I'm sure, right? Yeah, but I'm more proud of my neck. I'd prefer to get my neck out there as okay. opposed to. to as opposed but this to person feet. is going to keep it for his. He's not going to want to. He's pay, he paid money for it, so he's not going to share it with the world. You know, you're gonna, telling me I should trust the guy who slid into it. my DMs for the neck pain. Most of those people, they, I mean, he's not, if he's going to give you money, Talk to my pimp. If he's going to give you money, he's not going to want to share that with the world. He's going to be like, you buy your own neck pick. You know what I had to go through to get this neck pick? Yeah. I had to pay this money. I had to get her to decide on it. He's not going to share it willy nilly with people. That's his. I trust this neck That's guy. his treasure. I'm ready to put my neck on the line. <laughs> Let's do it. I think women should be doing that at all times. Would you do time. it if you were one? I'm already doing it. You're selling feet pics? I'm trying. I'm trying to. You do? It's my Cameo venture. You do? Because Cameo approached me and uh, <laughs> I, I didn't, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do Cameo. You didn't? No, I think it's kind of gross or whatever. Yeah, I love so, watching Gary Busey on there. <laughs> what I've done is I was like, well, I'll just do uh, foot porn and I'll get kicked off of Cameo. Well, uh, turns out they like money more than they have like respect for their platform so uh, a lot of people bought it and they they're encouraging it they love it <laughs> so, so wait wait you have foot porn on cameo i do yeah what are you doing with those feet oh uh, you know just like rubbing them telling the guys like a dumb bitch or some shit like that no <laughs> no it's true how much can you charge i i i have charged in the past a hundred dollars but the the well has come a little bit dry and so now it's down to fifty dollars if you go on my cameo <laughs> <laughs> yes go to your cameo yeah and have you you've made money off of i've it. made almost seven thousand dollars total <laughs> yeah Josh. It's not Josh. people aren't legitimately jerking off Josh. to my porn. I don't want to like throw in the secret. That's what you but, think. But maybe some are, but they're it's mostly a troll, I think, for people to send their friends. And do they request what kind of foot content they're looking for? Yeah, they'll be like, Tell my friend Gary he's a loser and And you so it's your feet and you're yeah, like yeah. rubbing them. Yeah, yeah. And then you I've say done all kinds of stuff. <laughs> I'm telling you, get on the train, ladies. <laughs> can we find it? I, I mean, on Cameo, I think you can find something on Cameo. It's pretty atrocious. I want to see I've been doing a lot of uh, shoulder hair porn most recently because what? that's like more of a fetish. For, what is it? <laughs> it's, it's for shoulder hair porn because I have lush shoulder hair. 
Okay, so you have hair on your shoulders. Yeah, so I stopped shaving it in order to do this. <laughs> yeah! All the, if you play that top video, there's definitely feet in that. There you no! go. <laughs> yes! Okay, so this is your cameo. Yeah. So. You definitely have people paying you for this content. <laughs> it's pretty wild. You have 4.9 stars. Yeah, I, one guy didn't like it. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> he gave me one star because he's like, I thought I'd be better. No. Like, you did? I mean, <laughs> like, what did you think was going to happen here? Oh, oh yeah, my those god. are all. Oh my I god. Oh my god, the cowboy hat! <laughs> Let's click that. Can you hear it? I think you can hear the words, right? <laughs> Where'd you get that hat? That's a, it was laying around the studio. Well, howdy there, Natalie. <laughs> no. Natalie. This one's for Natalie. You ready to try it out? Just tell me beat me and all that. They all want That's your mom's house quotes, talking. too. I haven't heard Robert Paul Champagne do a cowboy character yet, but I would really like him to mosey on with some doggies, if you know what I'm saying. But James and Andy tell me that it is your birthday on the 31st. Are you talking and, in an accent? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, happy birthday, happy birthday. I have a cowboy hat. Little lady, tip of the cap, brush of the shoulder hair. Ooh, there it is. Wow. <laughs> I have to keep it lush like. for the cameo purposes. <laughs> right. You ain't this no tenderfoot a... over here. <laughs> this is Bring everything. those uh, massive milkers out this way and see what's up. <laughs> milkers. Thank you so much for uh, taking I'm dying. part of my sex work. I want to give you a good look at it here, little lady. It's terrible. Ooh, I yeah. hate how oh, it, it gets Josh. bridled. This Josh. <laughs> Little I lady. hate like uh, <laughs> little lady. <laughs> it's true that it grows back thicker when you stop sh when you like shave it. You know, it's everything. This is so good. Yeah. Wow, you got to put your prices back up to a hundred. Don't I sell yourself so. short. I think so because it's real. It's tough to do that. Often. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it makes it takes a lot out of you. How many Plus, takes I have to do you keep do? not shaving. How many takes do you do? I usually get it out pretty quick. One or two takes. <laughs> Really? Yeah, it depends. One on hit, what's one, going one on. take wonder. <laughs> depends what's happening in the in the request and things like that. But all right, well, that's our episode. <laughs> it has been a wild ride from coronavirus to sex work. Um, thank you for taking taking this journey with me. Oh, anytime. Thank it you was for inviting. So me. fun. Um, do you have anything coming up you want to? I hope out? so. Uh, April second through fourth, Sacramento punchline. Please still happen. Uh, and then uh, May. May 12th, Huntsville, Alabama. May 13th, Nashville, Tennessee. Shit. And where can people find you? Uh, on my Instagram, it's just Josh underscore Potter. And then uh, Twitter, it's at J underscore Potter. Okay. Before we leave, I have gifts for you. Oh, my God. I have a gift from Speedweed and a pair of socks from Oh Yeah Socks. Oh, thank you. I love socks. Yeah. And also, I love, this is going to help me get, this is my emergency kit right Yeah, here. you got thank your you, emergency Speedweed. kit yeah. from Speedweed and yeah. your, and the socks have weed on them too. Oh, no They're shit. They're like, it looks like potato people. It's like Cheech and Chong almost Oh, yeah, looking. but they're <laughs> stoner uh, potatoes or Yeah. Something. It's cool. fun. They're fun. That is fun. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you for coming on. And thank you guys for listening and watching another episode of Shank. Stay safe out there. <laughs> <laughs>